Man, this is absolutely insane. I was just about to drop a video talking about how Sway Lee's uh, ex-girlfriend threatened to kill him. And, you know, what I do is I'll wait like a week or at least three or four days after a story it breaks to get all the details. And because, you know, sometimes they're, uh, they get misconstrued throughout the different media outlets and... I really don't want to bring false information to my subscribers. So anyways, I'm checking out TMZ and it's talking about how that uh, Sway Lee's stepdad got killed and the, the, the brother's in custody. However, it's not the brother that is in the band or in the group with them. I guess they have another brother that is lives in the Mississippi area with them or is from the Mississippi area because that's where the shooting occurred and the, the, he's 19 years old and he's being held for psych, uh, psychiatric evaluations and that the police say that he is a person of interest. Now initially when I read the headlines to this article I was thinking that maybe like his ex-girlfriend played a role in it because she went as far as to say uh, hey uh, I got $20,000 on Sway Lee's head and now here's the thing, had this 19 year old brother not been a suspect in the case at all, they would have been going straight to her. And she would be getting jammed up by the investi by investigators and man, they'd have her sitting there for 48 hours. And if they really don't have a lead on there, man, they'll wait until she says to something just slightly incriminating and just uh you know it could make it seem like uh in any way shape or form that she actually went so far as to not get sway lee killed but went to get his a family member of his killed which was his stepdad you know so the lesson here to be learned is don't make threats like that <laughs> Because, I mean, this girl, and she really is a girl, you know, this really young kid, she could have been in a world of shit right now <laughs> had the brother not been listed as a suspect right away. So the fact that he's being uh, held for psychiatric evaluation and it, the, uh, it's the, you know, and it's his father that he killed made it or uh, that he's being accused of killing makes it sound like it was some kind of family domestic dispute that just went all bad and um, at the end of the day hopefully it wasn't Sway Lee's money that uh, contributed to the brother buying the gun that he probably wasn't allowed to have considering his age um, it is in Mississippi so I mean maybe the right to carry out there is 18 years old uh, but uh, I don't know I'm not sure I'm not an expert on gun laws or anything but yeah crazy world man King Smog signing off